Hello, all you lovely, wonderful people. Let's get on with this, shall we? All right, so here's the thing. I really... Oh, William is king. That's good. Um... Oh, shit. So this is long term, though. He's losing money. How's, how's Harold doing? Gaining money. He has a few more troops, but... What if you've taken into account allies? Um, it's pretty close. And now, there's a chance that France will invade England. It might be time for me to invade Norway. Um, if so, let's see, what I'm going to need to do is use a hook. I'm going to need to get some extra levies. Same, same with you. I really am going to need them. Um, and are there any further alliances that I can get that might be at all useful? Like that's a thousand soldiers. It's not bad, actually. Um, let's see here. I mean, similar, like... Yeah, some of these will actually be pretty helpful. Um, but I don't think I want to marry him to her. I want to do a, something a little bit closer in age, you know? One of my... One of my princes here. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, because I'm an extra thousand men we're talking about the numbers we're talking about, that'll, that'll make a difference. Especially, uh, don't discount your smaller allies, uh, because they still bring knights, you know, and that, uh, knights make a huge difference. Like I said, remember, each point of prowess, like, makes a knight pretty damn powerful. <sighs> Fuck, okay. Do I really want to pay to recruit a ten prowess person? <laughs> Could I pimp out one of my daughters for, for prowess? Yes, I can. 22 prowess. She can... She can fucking deal with the uh, prestige loss. I... Here, come... come if you come bang my daughter... <laughs> uh... You know, you just gotta fight for me. That's that's cool. You just gotta fight for me. <laughs> um, are there any alliances I could gain that are worth it? Um, or should I do the same with her? I already have Gwynedd as an ally. I already have these guys as an ally. Yeah, I think better than those six hundred men will, will will be similar. Let's let's bring in another bring in another fighter who is just ready to kick some. And we can look at their. Uh, Their traits too, I suppose. For the ones that are like tied for that twenty-one. Oh, this one's Danish. Um, which means he'll like me better. There we go. Now I now I should have a better cadre of knights. Yeah, like this these Stanislav and Henrik, they are they are gonna kick some ass. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Uh I wonder. There's something that's pausing it in the background, but 
I'm pretty sure there's there's no will join court, unfortunately. But uh, let's just see if there's a. Eh, no, that's gonna be a pain. Let's not do that. Okay, Caesar's triumph. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was amused to learn about Julius Caesar's exploits during his conquest of Gaul. During his siege of Alesia, Caesar determined that direct assault on the well-fortified city would be too costly. He instead ordered his army. He ordered. He instead ordered his army build his own fortress, which surrounded the entire city, trapping the enemy garrison inside to starve, while simultaneously preventing reinforcements from relieving the defenders. So do I say a little ingenuity goes a long way in a siege? I get a military engineer. Uh, that's that's a pretty good trait. That's a pretty good trait. Uh, do I become unyielding defender and gain gain stress? Unyielding defender actually is pretty good. Fewer people have casualties. Let me take a look. Am I likely to even be leading my own troops? Not really. Okay. Uh, Caesar took a risk with that plan, but it paid off. Uh, that's yeah. That's that. Wars just aren't fought like that these days. You will look elsewhere for inspiration. Um. Yeah, sure. I'll make myself a. I, that mean because that means in uh, places where I don't expect things to go badly, I can uh, I can put my my king there to make the siege go faster. I was watching Thorgils play with other children when Egil tried to push him over. Soon a brawl had broken out among the children. Do I let him stay wrathful? Do I make him forget? Eh, I don't want to get in stress over this. I mean, it's not a big deal. I am still at zero, so like I have plenty of, and I have East Hunt available to uh, relieve stress. Let's see, how's this going? Um, I think I'm going to need to invade pretty soon. How far am I? Uh, that would have to happen during the war, I guess. Because I'm, I'm worried about France trying to exploit weakness in England the same way I want to exploit weakness in Norway. Uh, so I think what I just maybe need to do... So I think I'm going to need to hire some mercenaries. And just go for it. Um, have you recruited any? No. So even just like this smaller, high quality band will make a big difference, I think. Uh, the question is, will I be able to afford it? Like, cause that'll bring me down pretty low. I wish I could uh, see what my, what it would cost me if I raised the entire army. Um. But I can't do that. Oh well, I think though it's time for me to go and attempt this war. Well, no, let's let's wait. That's right, because I need to vassalize this guy. So let's wait one moment for that. Um, that'll also give me a bit more of a buffer money-wise. Oh man, if I could get an alliance with Scotland, I doubt it, but. Oh, okay, great. Suede, that's probably, yeah. That should give me a couple of extra troops. Great. Okay, I mean, now he's pissed at me, but he'll still provide me some soldiers. Um, I'll keep swaying him for now, but I think it's time, like, this war is very much in doubt. And I do not want him to win. So this is the time for me to get involved here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put my rally point, like, say, here. What I may, because that gives me the opportunity to consider doing a quick uh, sniping of his capital. I wonder, is he leading his troops, or is he... Located in... No, he's leading his troops. But I could still potentially grab some of his family members and stuff. So... Let's go for it. Let's, uh... 
Let's do it. Okay, my claim, Kingdom of Norway. He's rated as inferior, because yeah, I'm going to be bringing in, like, France and stuff. Let's do it. Now I'm definitely going to need to call my allies. Alright, let's, uh, let's start with King of France. Yeah, I'm... Oh shit, I, uh... But he, can, he can't come. Uh, Prince of Gwynedd. You would not accept. Damn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to sway you then. Oh, it's not likely to work. Well, I'm going to try. Because bringing in some extra troops would be very helpful right now. Especially, like I said, if you've got some knights for me. Okay. You might be who I actually want to be the commander, because... Well, you could die. Which is great. Uh, because commanders with low prowess are at a lot of risk. Uh, prowess makes a big difference in how likely you are to survive. Uh, so... Okay, still... I want to see how my finances are doing once I'm all gathered. Okay, I break even exactly. That's actually pretty good news, because that means... Uh, I mean, you pay... Ah, they're not available anymore. I should have just bought them. Uh, in theory, I could buy mercenaries. Why aren't... Are, who are they contracted with, does it say? Oh, okay, so I'm just going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, maybe if I capture some prisoners or something, I'll be able to... Okay, what I think I'm just going to do... So I'm just going to go for here instead. Um... Try to get an early... No, oh, but I'm going to lose gold by doing it this way. Oh well. I would have if I would have gone for a, a capital... Snipe. Oh hey, I can actually see the, some of their troops now. Oh, because of Sweden. So I know there's a thousand there. Ooh, that's good to know. So they're splitting their troops at least somewhat. Uh, I don't have any siege weapons, do I? Should have gotten a siege retinue. Still could. For now, let's just be very careful. Because here's the thing, I just need, if Norway is just, uh, okay. Ooh, Scotland is attacking them now too, this is perfect. Now theoretically, if they're smart, like, I, they, they just get out of these other wars. Uh, because I'm the one that's their actual existential threat. Ah, oh, god, I need to do something to get prestige. Um, sure, but I'm kind of in the middle of my own thing right now. Nice. Okay. No, that's an empty. That's empty. Let's actually take a look um, and get a better view of who... Where his vassal land is and where his land is. Right, because okay, um, this is the stuff like that gives him income. Um, okay, so we'll start marching up that way, I guess. But for now, let's let's not try to pay to sail around there. Oh, 
Really? What are you doing? Okay, I don't want to I don't want to fight against one of his vassals if I don't have to. They're not worth very much, but I could use the money. Where are the Norwegian troops? That's the thing. I'm just worried. What are my fact? How's that faction looking? Not independent. Independence. Okay. Let's go siege this down. Nice new perk. Yeah. Let's make my uh, make my knights better. I've got some pretty strong knights. I think that'll help. Why am I sorting by health for... <laughs> for who to educate him? Ah, jeez. I don't know. Um, sure, for now my brother can do it. I don't care. I kind of have something going on here that's... Fuck. There's their troops. Wait, I don't have a commander. What the fuck? There we go. Oh shit, I'm expected to lose? Oh, okay, no, no, no. Shit, what just happened? Oh, fuck. Okay, my son died. Um. Okay. Shit. Yeah, you can be the marshal for now. Um, fuck, I need to change my election now. Well, I was thinking about going for Prince Eric, and he's almost of age now, so let's pick him. He will be great. Oh shit, I got... he got sieged down in this holy war. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I think I've got this. Yes! Okay. Great. Now, uh, I mean, I think that's that's very likely going to be enough to win the war. Right. Well, maybe not. He can recover his troops quite a lot. But no. Okay. That's good. Let's... Let's just go siege this down. Oh, right. And I inherited all these guys, so I have troops that were... Oh, did I inherit that war directly? What's, what's his war now? No. Fighting against Prince Harold. Okay. He's still defending against one of my sons. Um, but let's let's just help him out a little bit, sure. Let's not go by ship though. Cause that recently disembarked is quite the disadvantage. Okay, I am going to have to do something about my stewardship. I think for now, that might actually be... Would you give me enough to get me... Yes! Nice! 
The stewardship is quite good. How is that even? Oh, well, I don't have a commander for one. There we go. I'll probably win. Low control in Mecklenburg. Yeah, let's see. Exactly what do I own directly now? Do I not have any other... Okay, here are my vassals. Man, I own a lot of it directly. Great. We'll probably end up wanting to give Mecklenburg away, but... Uh, for now, I don't even get any money out of it, but hey, that's fine. I understand you are interested in deepening your grasp on warfare, Count Torgal shuffles from foot to foot as he approaches me. I might be able to help you see the battlefield in new ways. He is well known for his mastery, all ma his mastery of all manner of varied tactics. If there was one who could help me understand, it would be him. Do I want to learn? Uh, he, will attempt to, he will become my mentor, attempt to teach me... Flexible leader, or do I leave to my... Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Um... That will make my battles where I lead myself much more in my favor. Okay, great. Oh, my well, men are starving here. Um... Because uh, they're they've run out of they've run out of supplies. Okay, I'm gonna have to split them and Why do I have no supplies? I, I need these guys to be on their own so that they can recover supply. Uh, you doof. I'm sitting around the map table with Count Torgils and Mayor Benedict discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Torgils bangs his fist on the table and loudly proclaims we should charge the enemy directly and crush them with the sheer might of our armies, while Benedict sits back and patiently advocates for us to secure critical locations and wait for the enemy to come to us instead. It is my right to decide the ultimate course of action. Do I say Count Torgils is right? Uh, that's not bad. Do I do with that and get improved defense instead? Or do I try okay. Do act that so uh, he I see. Yeah, they can each act as they see fit. That sounds fair. Oh jeez. You need to You need to leave these troops. Okay, let's let's split you again because my my allies clearly don't understand. I'm trying to get supplies for my soldiers. <laughs> Eric has come of age. I still don't have a spouse for him. Ooh, an intelligent. They don't have good kids. She's a little old for him, but. Not too bad. He would lose some prestige, which, ooh, he doesn't have any. I may have to wait. Quick and genius? I, I would thought genius would be a, an upgrade of quick like in CK2. Okay. Sure. Oh, maybe I should keep some of these. Uh, Kid, you know, some of these captures, or else trade them for a favor. So that when they're 
you know, my vassals, I can do that. Anyway, I think the war is going pretty well for now. This one has no leader. This would be a good time to put me as a siege leader in there. You should be regaining your supplies now a little bit. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Do I want him to be sadistic? Definitely don't want him to be ambitious and... <sighs> oh shit, here's a whole bunch of Norwegians. Um, let's be very careful here. Yeah, these guys, I just need to retreat into, like, very deep, friendly territory. Okay. Now, if we move together, we can beat this army. We're gonna escape, right? Yeah, let's bring these troops up. Yeah, let's start moving to hopefully engage. Oh, he's taking to the water. Okay, let's see. Let's see where he's going to try and land. He's still not war with, uh, is he still trying for England? Yeah, he is. Okay. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here, uh, and finish up this war in the next one.